My glasses broke. My sunglasses broke. You know, they're made in China. Why is it that the Chinese can make a duck taste like an orange? The hell, they can't make a pair of sunglasses that'll fucking last more than fucking two, three weeks. What's up with that? I'm upset about that. that that's upsetting. I don't know. I feel odd now wearing them. Someone's going to look at me and think I'm just some cheap asshole. Well, hell, I like my sunglasses. <laughs> They're fucking broken. There's one thing duct tape don't fix. It's sunglasses. That's God honest truth. You just don't. Easy ass fucking highway. Everybody's going to the casino. Again. Woo! Well, it's a beautiful day. Blue skies. Large expanse of empty road. I'm gonna ride my Jeep. Cause I gotta go make some money, don't you know? Woo! Oh, hell. It's another damn day. Nothing special to talk about today. I don't have anything on my mind that needs to get out. I'm doing pretty good today. I'm kind of clear headed. Doing well, doing well, doing well. Heading to this uh, local car dealership here. Work on some burnt out ballasts and stuff. Gonna be riding a scissorless up and down. I don't mind. I'm quick and easy. I'm fast. I'm good. I know how to do stuff. I know how to turn them wire nuts, boy. Anyways, I'm getting better. I remember when I first started working for this guy. Hell, I didn't know my ass from my elbow. I mean, I could do some shit, but I wasn't ever good at it. Took me a while, too. But hell, I don't know how many damn ceiling fans I miss wire. And I'm sure I'm going to wire another one wrong sometime or another, but. Oh, Lee. First thing he asked me, you ever done electric work? And he goes, no, let me ask you, are you an electrician? I said, fuck no, I ain't no goddamn electrician. I ain't really done much electric work. I mean, I've wired in some pool pumps and stuff. I mean, you afraid of heights? He goes, I'm like, not really. I said, depending. If it's safe, I'm good. If I'm putting my fucking life on a line so you can make a fuck big old paycheck, no. <coughs> I told him straight up. We were busting ass on this job one day, and I said, I'll do anything you ask. Anything at all. As long as it doesn't turn me into a homosexual. Or put my life on the line where I might not go home to see my wife and kids. I say anything else? Fuck. Fair game. And that's what I said. I mean, that's fair, ain't it? You can fucking hang me on a goddamn fucking some kind of giant contraption fucking, you know, hanging there by my fucking hairballs. Or ball hairs. Hairballs. Ball hairs, excuse my language. No offense to anybody out there, I'm just saying. I mean, I ain't gonna fucking go risk my life. I'm sorry. Ain't no fucking amount of money gonna cover that. You ain't gonna fucking tell me I'm paying you enough money to cover my ass climbing up some fucking scary fucking bullshit fucking on my wrist and lose my life. I go home every day to see my wife and kids. That's my obligation. To get home. Go work, go home. Anyways, I mean, I don't believe in OSHA, but shit, don't fucking ask me to do something stupid. That's all I'm saying. I mean, I understand OSHA. Hell, you gotta have clean air to breathe. I ain't gonna fuck pull that shit. You may want to make me beat you fucking out. I ain't gonna fuck. That's one thing I won't fuck. I won't fucking bend on. You gonna send some some bitches into some fucking room full of fucking shit that's gonna fucking kill them five years from now because they're gonna give them some fucking goddamn lung disease. I don't give a shit. You're paying them day fuck my eight dollar an hour, twelve dollar an hour, twenty dollar an hour. It don't fucking matter. Goddamn. No amount of money that you can make on any goddamn job is worth a goddamn human life. It might be acceptable on some big old fucking goddamn commercial jobs. You know, like building a goddamn pipeline for fucking goddamn Canada to fucking the end of Texas. Well, hell, I understand that. You're going to lose a life or two if it's going to fucking happen. But, I mean, nah. Not on a small scale of things that the human life is worth a little more than that. That's all I'm saying. I got to go work. I don't know why I'm talking to you people. You got to slow me up. I'm going to pause. Look at this place called the Hot Spot. The slowest goddamn gas station ever devised by man. Slow. I'll be back. Well, hell, they were on the ball today. On the ball. 
Hell, I don't even think I was in here anywhere near as long as I normally am. Most of the time, when I go in that store, I'm literally standing in line for 10 times the amount of time it took me to walk in that store and get what I needed. I mean, literally just sit, fucking stand there. I can't fucking stand that. I hate being idle. I hate being idle. And I hate waiting on other people who are incompetent. I hate be, I hate waiting on incompetence. Because I swear, if you can't run a register, if you've been working on a register for a long time, well, you become extremely fast and precise over a period of time. You become very fast and precise. You're not supposed to get fucking slower. And it seems like some of these people, hell, that's, that's what they fucking do. They get slow. Hell, if one dollar and twenty-nine cents plus four dollars and thirty-nine. Let me figure the taxes. Ah. In order to call it a hot spot, people get hot in that spot. You know what I mean? He's in there a fucking long time going, damn, what the hell? And the damn fuck people, their damn lottery tickets. Let me tell you what, they should make some fucking special goddamn checkout aisle just for them son of a bitches. Because when you got on fucking god, I hate goddamn lottery addicts. Hell, you gotta fucking stand there and buy lottery tickets. You bring in fucking lottery tickets to cash out and check in. And I mean, it's, it's like a non-ending goddamn catastrophe at the front of the line. You standing back there watching you some bitch, oh hell, I gotta, oh, let me get five play fours and three play threes and fuck, give me the wonder ball, fucking bullshit, fucking hell, check these scratch offs. I said, oh, let me scratch these off real quick before I leave. Fuck you, go to some other special fucking place. And they fucking have a fucking lottery delivered to your house or something. I mean, oh, Lee, I mean, it's crazy. Where the hell are my sunglasses? I don't think they fell off my hat. <laughs> well, they were broken anyways. Maybe someone will find them and be able to fix them. Glue them together or something. Well, anyways, I'm going to fucking work. I go ride this goddamn scissor lift up and down, up and down, up and down, changing goddamn ballast and goddamn shit. Maybe somebody hit me with a goddamn car and get run over a goddamn dealership. I'll be fine for the rest of my life. Just kidding. Y'all have a good day. Woo! God bless America.